Google is looking to support businesses amid increasing competition on Amazon during the COVID-19 crisis. The network recently announced that merchants will now be able to advertise their products online for free. This will mean that competition will increase. So advertisers need to work on optimizing their Google Merchant account as the competitive landscape changes. Similarly to the primary search results tab, shopping ads will appear at the top and at the bottom of the page. Every merchant's opportunity to connect with relevant users will depend significantly on its product feed optimization. You should leverage both SEO and PPC to get the most out of your online efforts. In this video, I'll give you some tips to optimize your Google Merchant Center shopping feed. Before we get started, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to activate the notifications button. Now let's dive in. Include the global trade item number on your products. The global trade item number, or GTIN, has become a significant part of the optimization process. The GTIN is required if you're a reseller of goods and is usually supplied by your manufacturer. It will allow you to do the following. Show your products and search queries that are relevant since Google uses the GTIN to place your list with other resellers of the same products. Also, it will get you a placement with searches like best and top. These kind of searches also reference customer reviews to determine the position of your ad. The better the reviews, the higher your chances to appear in the top position. Focus on your Google Shopping product title. Identify the queries consumers use to look for your products and optimize your feed accordingly. If they search by brand name, make sure to include it in your product title since Google will create keywords based on these titles. Make sure to also add descriptive keywords in your title to make your products more relevant to potential customers. Engagement data will help you understand your customer's intent and find applicable keywords to boost your product title. If you're not sure about how customers search for your products, Use the search term report to learn which queries convert best and add them to your title. Pro tip, create keyword testing in your feed to hone what works best for your store. You can use Arif, Keyword Planner, SEMrush, Google Trends, Google Search Console, Keyword Surfer, Ubersuggest, or Answer the Public. It is essential to mirror product information from the website. That way, users who click on your product list will find the same information on the site. Advertise product variations efficiently. If your business offers a product in multiple styles, each color, size, material, and pattern must be submitted to your Google Merchant account as a unique item with its title. For each product, it will be necessary to determine if variations are advertised under a parent product or if it will be featured individually. Also, make sure your product variations match your landing page values. Google disapproves mismatching landing page information. Select the right image. Product images are the first thing users see on their queries, so make sure these look great enough to capture your customer's attention. Make sure to use high quality pictures, match details with the featured image, color, size, material, remove any text over the picture, watermarks, sales manufacturer parts, or numbers. Test product images versus lifestyle images. Also, keep in mind that if you do not add a product image, Google could show any image from your merchant center. Highlight sales and merchant promotions. You'll have access to sales and merchant promotions with free product listings. These features trigger people's buying habits. If you're running a Google Shopping campaign, they can lead to high CTRs and lower CPA. For example, let's say there's a 25% off on one of your products. To activate this promotion, you'll have to fill out the Merchant Promotions form and create it under the Promotions tab. Google will show short messages with instructions on how to create your promotion. It will require filling out specifics such as the start and end date of your promotion, if you're gonna target specific products versus all products, promotional codes. As your e-commerce works on optimizing its organic presence, it will become easier and cheaper to be present where consumers are. One of the keys to being successful is paying attention to all of Google requirements. If you have any questions about optimizing your merchant center, leave your comments below, subscribe to our blog, or contact me.